Okay guys, if you notice, I have a little more facial hair. And we're a little bit in the future, a lot of projects right now. But in this video, we actually go over our, our first real sale in this boat. And uh, that was uh, very interesting. Learned a lot. Uh, her first time pulling up the anchor, that was, uh, that was fun. And then, of course, I go through and fixing, uh, we had a bathroom leak. That was fun. It just wasted most of our water. And uh, our winch, our electric winch didn't work. I fixed that. We had some wiring. And then, of course, she's chasing after Bella, uh, cleaning up fur. We'll have a solution for that in the future. So, yeah, stay tuned for that, and let's get into this video. My baby's right there. She don't want to fall off, so... Doing her best. There she is. Want me a bungee cord that open for you? We are. We're gonna get the marriage savers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Definitely. Might save. Let's save something. <laughs> Need my help, baby? I'll help you. Yeah, can you turn on the uh, windlass? Still hold us at all. There's Gary. Good job, babe. That's about as nerve wracking as can be. <laughs> if you can see that boat right there, you can. That guy slowed down for us, didn't rock us or anything. So <laughs> we had some uh, two boats come through here, just shake us. Yeah. That one's too little. Yeah, that one shouldn't wake us. Hey, look, I got a screwdriver off that here. So, so we're going to try to put up this uh, Gen uh, Gen Genoa for the first time. We've got no wind, probably won't fill out, but we're going to stretch it out and, and, and see what she does. So, you will start pulling out, and you'll start pulling up the side. Still pulling wraps off of it. Pull it out. You'll let your glue stay down. Yeah. Uh, and your glue stay down. Yes. Keep slide or keep That's good. Right. Yours is fine now, babe. Right. Good night. It's getting stuck on that. What? Oh, it's not stuck on anything. It's just flapping in the wind. There she's feeling out. Oh, look at that. We have her all the way out? Yeah, we do. Is that right? Can tighten this now? Yeah, just wrap it. For, just put a couple wraps around it because there's no tension on that one. Okay, we're doing about 1.7 knots. We're flying with the wind. <laughs> and the wind's going about two knots. So you want me to tie off? Yeah, yeah, just do it. Just yeah, just So what do you think about selling, babe? Nerve wracking. Oh, this guy slowed down for us. <laughs> it's different. It's uh, easier to motor. Oh, it is a lot easier to motor. <laughs> <laughs> Chad, what do you think about se selling on just our head sale? But the wind we got, that's pretty good. <laughs> we are doing 1.8 knots and we have 2.5 knots of wind. Is it really 340? Yep. Or 240? What is that? 15? I lost my military, <laughs> my military shit. <laughs> Chad's gonna work on losing the wind here. Yep, he just did. <laughs> we're flipping. We're, we accidentally uh, 
Jibed. We did an accidental we jibe. <laughs> Chad says, Jesus, take the wheel. Yeah. <laughs> Glad that wheel, not me. <laughs> that was a little breeze. Turbo. Yeah, we're about to turn. The turbo's kicking in. We're, we're still... Right. <laughs> what are we at? My knees are shaking. That was just like so... I don't know. That was... Uh-oh. I think we're going towards that marker. We are. We're about to change your course. We're about to jibe. And away from it? Or do we need to be I'll get it. pushing... Oh. Okay, guys. We're heading back home in defeat. Our oil is still leaking. We uh, drifted over a crack, crack pipe, crab pod, and that got hung on the boat. That was interesting to remove. Sorry we didn't film that. And, uh, yeah, what else? Oh, we I to sail. We did learn to sail, and we uh, I did cut my finger on barnacle. So, all good things. But I did get the crack pot off the rudder without diving it. I wish I would have filmed that because you know all I, all I did was tie the line for the crack pot onto the our push pole and push it down and I uh, got it unhung. Of course the engine wasn't running so that uh, that made it a lot easier. Now I've got to look for more crack pipes out here because I don't want any more. And this is our crew member holding the, the dog. He was invaluable for this trip. Just tell us everything we need to know. Yeah, right. It's Captain Chad right here. <laughs> you're in trouble if I talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> so yesterday during beer 30 time, we had a major issue. So our PEX plumbing decided to come loose and leak. Let me show you what it looked like down here. So down here in our floor, it was completely wet. And if you go up in here, this PEX back here, this goes to our bud sprayer right there. It just uh, came loose. I don't have the fitting for it, but I do have the tools. So we're gonna take a look at that and see if I can fix this uh, before my parts get in. If you see here, got water on the floor that's where I stepped in there and got mud on the floor but that's what we're looking with and it's leaking right under there you can see water drips so I took out the uh, offending pipe and we're gonna see if we can cut this end off that's roughed up so bad and stick it back in there and see if it will hold pressure I learned from the bandits on this and uh, I have a pair of cutters on my use so I don't do damage to myself. So when you cut these off, you want to make sure you have a straight, clean line to go back in these connections. The biggest issue it caused is um, it drained uh, a half a tank on our water. So we have three 50-gallon tanks. We're on the uh, port tank, and that's how much we got left. This has only been like three days. The starboard tank is empty, and then we have the aft tank, which is full. Okay guys, so this hose right here, right here, was rubbing, so I'm going to put a little of this, uh, um, oh shoot, can't remember, conduit over the top of it. Thank you, baby. And that should protect it better. Uh, I've got to get some more conduit, but I've got a little bit more on the wiring, I'll show you that now. So over here, you see they have our, this relay. This runs to the, uh, fuel shut off solenoid and it was just a just a electric tape mess they put a mild little electric tape on it so I'm gonna clean that up I also went in here and sanded this up a good bit and put some diaxal grease on it to hopefully keep it from corroding and because uh, without our ground this thing will start now that's our RPM gauge I need to work on that because we're not getting a proper RPM signal, nor some of the other gauges. And then you see that down there, that looks like an 
a block or a solenoid of some sort. It's not connected, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. I'll save it. Our starter solenoid's right there, so I don't think it's that. But uh, yeah, if you uh, can tell me what that is in the video, it'd be great. But it just bolts on with one bolt. Let's see if I can get down there and see that. There's that one bolt. So we'll go ahead and re remove that thing. And it'll clean up wiring in here as well. So with the 13 millimeter, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. And that's to our relay thing down there. I'm Google search to find out exactly what it is. Of course, if y'all help me in the comments, that'd be great. And then I'll tighten that back down because that would cause the engine probably not to start. You don't want to crank this down too hard. It is on your cylinder. But so you just don't want it to move. So that's not moving. And then on that solenoid, there is a bolt on the bottom. Hopefully I can get to that. Okay, and this is the dread 10 millimeter. Everyone loses or breaks these. I broke a lot of them, and along with the half and even the 9 16 Let's get this off. Okay. Don't fall. Get my, oh yeah. Whew. That one, that one almost went to the bottom of the engine bay. Now let's see if that loosened up. Is this just a bracket? No, it seems to be mounted to the bracket. I gotta get that bottom one off. And that's gonna be a challenge. Cause it's down there. So I didn't have a 10 millimeter wrench, but I did have this extension and I just tied a, uh, um, I used a crescent wrench on the end of this extension and it came off nice and right. And that piece is falling down. Here we go. Yeah, so looks like a solenoid. Imagine it is, but just leave comments down below. So I put them bolts back in place if I ever need them again. And uh, yeah, that cleared up a little wiring. Now let's get the rest of this wiring cleared. Okay, that looks a lot better. No chafing wires, nothing to chafe. And uh, yeah, just a cleaner look. You know, put electric tape on the ends and the joints. Shouldn't be that hard to get off when you have troubleshoot. Okay, the baby is clean the house. And now she's uh, taking care of the last bathroom. Yeah, most of it was dog hair. We have got to get that rectified. I cannot stand it anymore. Not right there. <laughs> Dog hair. All the couches. All the floor. The carpets. Yeah. Well. I can't. I can't take it. <laughs> but yeah. The house is looking good. We got that mattress we pulled out. That was too thick. Okay, so we tried to go out selling, and our winch didn't work. I'm in the room. Winch is up here. Yeah, I know the selling was less than selling, but we did get some knots and probably not the best sellers in the world. But we aren't sellers. We're just using this boat to travel. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my impact. I'm going to take this cover off right here. Let's get that done. Okay, the first thing you have to do is remove these little caps. Now, you just take a little screwdriver and these should pop off and fall to the floor like that one did. So now that I have all these uh, caps off, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these screws. You'll see some of them are loose. I'm gonna do this off. This thing's not heavy, it's just, I need two hands. Okay, now that we're in here, we can see that uh, you've got these are power our electric motor, which is for our winch. Well, this is the motor right here. And this is our 
controller which is right here I don't know why they left so much of this wire here why didn't they just clip that off and have less uh, wire to deal with now this wire I imagine goes to the light that's no longer here okay so right here I did test it and this is a positive I mean negative and positive coming from the battery and you're gonna have to take my word for it because I can't hold it it's too far apart from film but it's not working so after hours of chasing I thought it at first, I thought it may come to this bus bar right here on our house batteries, and it did not. So I took down the power panel here, traced the wires all the way through, and I found that these wires are right here, these two. So these two wires and the ground goes to a bus bar that's down there so and that feeds off the battery over there and then they plugged in the winch to this breaker right here on the positive side which didn't make sense seems that that's controlling that's the house battery control and uh, I flipped the switch and it now works now I am going to have to look at, they have all the house batteries running to this original uh, battery control. This is for lead acid. So when we get new batteries, right now we only, only have one, but when we get new batteries, I'll probably have to address that. So now our winch works. And that would have saved us a lot of trouble when we went for a test cell because uh, the uh, well, it wasn't that hard, but pulling out the main cell would have been much easier with a winch. Okay, so I'm putting this thing back up. I've got pretty much all of it up, and I was going to show you how I fix uh, stripped holes. Basically, I use a zip tie. If uh, what would be best is probably them little plastic uh, sheetrock uh, things from you can get them from Home Depot or something. But this is all I have, so I take a piece of uh, or a zip tie and I shove in the hole like this. There we go. That should be enough right there. You just want enough zip tie to be through uh, on this one both holes. And uh, then I'm going to take and get my screw and put it in. So they tried to fix this with silicone which was not very effective. As you can see I didn't tighten it all the way down because I want to get this as close as possible to the top because it does have that thing that holds the screws on. I am probably going to have to do this off camera. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, there, I got it. And then I'll just take and... Now I'll just take and screw this thing on down. See, that's a that's actually holding now before it wasn't so yeah I have a silicone on it but that's no big deal and as you can see with the the covers on I fixed this one too looks just like this one which I didn't fix so yeah good to go and now that with the winch works and everything ready to move on now she's taking a break from taxes I don't know if dishes are the right break, but... <laughs> I, I, haven't ax, I haven't actually started taxes yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, she was paying bills. Yeah. Good huh. old-fashioned bills. Still got them on the, on the boat. Yeah. Still got bills. <laughs> so, they're a lot less, but, uh, yeah, we do have them. So, until we uh, haul out, which is going to be here shortly, and that's going to get expensive. So excited. <laughs> you know, have Merry Christmas to us. <laughs> it's all the Christmas stuff you want, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. Hopefully that was uh, entertaining at best. The wiring looks a lot better. Uh, I've got more wiring on the boat figured out at that point. 
I've got a lot more figured out now, but uh, y'all, this, uh, you know, we're going to keep recording and sharing our adventure, and if you want to watch it, whatever, if, uh, I like to go back and look at them and see how dumb I am, so it's fun that way, but, uh, um, we're recording our adventures. Yes. So, and just sharing them with, uh, publicly. So, also go out and check our website. This girl's got some great recipes out there. And a little behind. A little behind. We're, uh... No projects, man. Oh, yeah, they're kicking our tails. But, yeah, so a little behind on that, but we will get caught up. And after I get done with boat projects, I think I'm going to do a shave and a, a haircut. So, that's getting kind of... Uh, interesting up there my mohawks coming in but uh, if you like our videos go ahead and down there the like button if you like our channel subscribe also down there and if you're uh, got constructive or feedback or whatever leave that down below too I'd love to read it well, hey. you want to be mean <laughs> like mean comments and y'all, y'all please take care. Bye. Bye guys.